on Crush Wednesday because it's right. Simona de Silvestro. Sim- Simona de Silvestro. I love her. I do too. I also love that she's called the Iron Maiden. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can really just stop there. Yeah. Because you know to get that nickname, shit has happened. Yeah. She's... She's a badass. She is a badass. So, kind of just to run through her pedigree, if we will. Um, her first win, I can't say that again. Her first win <laughs> came in 2006 in the Formula BMW Championship. Um, from 2008 to 2009, she raced in the Atlantic Championship, uh, the Grand Prix of Long Beach. That was the first podium she got in that sport. Oh, wow. And then in 2009, she won three times and finished third in the standings. That's awesome. And then after the Atlantic Championship, she wandered on over to IndyCar. Good for her. Where she she did okay. It was kind of a, it was an up and down resume of IndyCar, I suppose. Yeah. You know, her first year, she got Rookie of the Year at the 500, and she finished 14th. Um, that is the year for that Texas race in June where the car caught on fire. Yes. And... That's a horrendous video. It's a horrendous video. We've watched it, like, once, and... What's scariest is the like the amount of time it yeah. took for the safety crew to get there and to get her out of the car. Yeah. They had trouble getting her out of the car. I mean, it. I think yeah, we've watched it once, and I can still just see images of it. Yeah, it's, it's oof, harrowing. It is, um, and then so in 2010 she finished 19th in the series, runner up to Rookie of the Year. Um, Alex Lloyd actually got Rookie of the Year that year. For the whole series? Yeah, for the series as a whole. I guess they do a yeah. series as a whole. Rookie of the Year. Abby. Makes sense. Um, so, following 2010 is 2011, not the greatest year. Um, that was the year um, she got caught up in a few accidents, including one in the 500. She also had a few issues with Customs and Border Patrol. Oh. Going into the Sonoma race... I guess U.S. Customs got concerned that she had so many in and out of country travels, and the agent kind of refused to believe that a woman could be a professional race car driver. Wow, but that agent feels like an asshole. Yeah, he can jump up his own butt. Yeah. Yeah, just jump right up there. Yeah. And then following all of that came 2012, the year of the Lotus. The year of the Lotus. What a CF that was. That was just a CF. I think at the end, she was the remaining Lotus driver. Yeah. There were two that year. I think two for the 500. Yeah. I think maybe three started the year in Lotus. Yeah. Yeah. And those Lotus drivers did not finish the 500. They um, they were actually disqualified because you have to maintain a speed um, that is race worthy. You have to be within so many percentage of um, percentage points of, of the leader. And the Lotus cars could not keep up. And they were not. Uh, they were not. Uh, they qualified at, and it was a year that there were only 33 cars that attempted to get in, so there was no bumping. But their qualifying speeds were like 210. Oh, wow. Or 213 max, maybe. Which is fast, but not compared to the rest of the field that is in the upper 220s. Yeah, not for that race. Not for that race. No. So, yeah, that was not a good year for Lotus. That was... No, it wasn't. Yeah, so it's yeah. too bad that she was in a Lotus that year. Now they got... Didn't they get de- DQ'd, like, shortly after the start of the race? Was this the one where they got DQ'd parade left? Uh, <laughs> or, like, right after? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an instant disqualification. They're they like... basically just let them start for show. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, they got to do the parade lap, and then... It- I'm not even sure that they did one lap. I think that when the pace car ducked in, they did as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's lovely. Maybe they did one lap, but yeah, it was it was short lived. Oh, awesome! Quite short lived. Awesome. Let's see, 2013. Yeah. Um, October 5th, she was at the Grand Prix of Houston. Mm-hmm. She finished second. Becoming one of only three women with a podium finish in IndyCar. Awesome. The other two being Danica Patrick and Sarah Fisher. That's a, I mean, hopefully more women yeah. get that. But that's kind of a nice kind of yeah. thing to hold on to, I To think. be one of three women to ever earn a podium in IndyCar. So, yeah. Yeah, finish second. That's awesome. Yeah, the GP of Houston. Mm. 2014, um, she was an affiliated, affiliated driver with, um, how do we decide to pronounce this? Well, I think you and I pronounce it differently. I think I pronounce it Saber. Saber. And you pronounce it Sabre? No, you. There was somebody else that you pronounced Sabre. I might have. Yeah, that was you. I would not pronounce something Sabre. But Sabre. Um, 
<laughs> it fell apart due to contractual issues. Yeah. 2015, 2016, she did Formula E with Andretti Autosport. Yeah. In 2016, she became the first woman to score points when she finished ninth at the Long Beach E Prix. That is kind of cool. That is very cool. That's very cool with Formula E. Yeah. So, awesome. So, yeah. And now, presently, from 2015 to present, she is in the Supercar Championship. And something that's really awesome is that she, every now and then, will team up with another female racer, Renee Gracie. Um, and so they'll run in the Supercar Championship together. Mm. Yeah. Um, and to kind of tie in on what we've been continually talking about as far as this bullshit sexual segregation, um, she is quoted by saying... Gender doesn't matter when you're going 225 kilometers an hour into a turn. True story. It does not. It does not. It does not. So that is our Woman Crush of Wednesday. It's Simona Di Silvestra. And she's pretty badass. She is pretty badass. And she's still out there racing, so definitely yeah. support her. Um, give give her, her a cheer. Yeah, because she's pretty, pretty yeah, awesome. She's pretty awesome. Yeah, she's a good driver. Yeah. I would have loved to see her in a better indie car seat. I would yeah. love to see her back in an Indy car seat as well. I know. I, I'd like to see her back for one of the 500s at least. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I really enjoyed watching her race. She's not bad. She's a good racer. Yeah, she is. Come on she back, is. Simona. Come on back. Come back to the moon. We'll cheer for you. Yeah, we will. <laughs> <laughs>